I'm Dave Thomas with Cars.com and with the 2008 Nissan Altima Coupe. This is the first time Nissan's offered a coupe body style for the Altima and it's to compete directly against the Honda Accord Coupe and the Toyota Solara. The number one thing you'll notice right away when looking at the Altima Coupe is its radical body style and the design of, of the coupe itself. One of the things you sacrifice when you get a coupe instead of a sedan are some of the practicalities like trunk space. With the uh, Altima Coupe's uh, trunk, it's a little over seven cubic feet um, and it's quite small. It's almost half the size of the competitors, the Accord Coupe and the Toyota Solara. So even in this class of, of, of coupes, it is quite small. Nissan's done an excellent job with the interior of the Altima Coupe. Uh, our test car has uh, finished with leather and the seats are, are very comfortable, uh, lots of back support. But even other things that people will get without leather like the steering wheel, um, the shifter, uh, all very high quality. Everything around the dash um, are soft touch uh, plastics. All the buttons are, are very uh, nice to the touch as well. We have um, in our test vehicle, again, it's, it's an upgraded uh, with about a $5,000 option package and then a $2,000 uh, tech package on top of that. Uh, so it's fully loaded and one of the tech packages is the navigation which uh, is, is centered right in the middle of the, of the dashboard. So you have navigation, you have a backup camera so when you put it into reverse you can see what's behind you. That so everything's really well laid out with the steering wheel and it has a great feel to it. It's leather wrapped and everything so it's, it's very sporty. Obviously as a coupe it's uh, not meant for a lot of passengers and as you can see the rear seats are quite small. Um, I'd almost call them you know, unusable. As you can see, I'm quite cramped in the back seat here. The seat is exactly where I was as a driver. My knees are completely pressed against it uh, quite a bit. My feet barely fit under the seat and I'm, I'm literally hunched over uh, so my head doesn't hit the ceiling. The Ultima Coupe comes with a choice of two engines, a four cylinder with 170 horsepower, which starts around $20,000. And our test vehicle here comes with a 3.5 liter V6 with 270 horsepower. This one starts around $24,000, but ours is loaded up with some features that gets the price near 30. So if you can find this with, uh, without all those uh, features, it's actually a terrific value. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.